Hi guys, Going Green Mom here. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about eating on the run with histamine intolerance. So obviously the easiest way to do this would be to always be at home when you need to eat, but I find that that's just not always feasible. So I'm going to pick on Jimmy John's a little bit here because they're one of my go-tos when I am out and about and didn't plan ahead and need to get something to eat. They are one of my go-tos because they have an unwitch, but as you can see, this document is basically a, a PDF file you can download from their website. It's not in their app that you can order from, but it's actually on the website under allergen information. So it will actually go through and tell you what's in each of the things on their menu. Or, this is actually components. So in the lettuce wrap, it's just lettuce leaves that's gluten-free. But like sometimes you'll you'll find things that are a little bit surprising, like the tuna salad has wheat and gluten in it. I'm not quite sure why. The eggs and the fish I would expect because the mayo has the eggs and of course it's tuna fish. But this gives you a, a good idea along with the menu of what you can expect in the food. And since they do have a lettuce wrap on the menu, it's pretty easy to find something that you can make work. Step is some general planning that's not necessarily any one particular day specific. I have certain places that I know that I can go if I'm out and I didn't think to bring something with or I timed things badly or something took too long. I can go to Jimmy John's and I can safely order an unwitch and I know that I can get like a turkey no um, tomato and that would be a fairly safe option for me. It's still not great just due to the fact that it's lunch meat and things and and so forth but overall it's a good option. So another place I can go often is McDonald's. Something like a McDouble, I can see, oh, and so I figured that they actually had fillers in their burgers, but they are apparently a 100% beef patty. I would also order this without the bun. And then at that point, I've got a processed cheese, pickle, ketchup, onions, and mustard. So the onions are fairly safe and, and okay. I have mild reactions to both mustard and ketchup. And the pickles, for whatever reason, I don't seem to react to pickles, even though I will react to the vinegar in the ketchup and the mustard and small amounts of vinegar elsewhere. I don't seem to react to pickles. I have a feeling it has something to do with the dill. Um, but I really don't understand that. But I could get a McDouble with no bun, and I'll have minor reactions, but not major ones. And you could obviously um, also go ahead and get, you know, other stuff left off of it. But as you can see, their website goes through all of the stuff and each of these things as well. There are also some other options I have at McDonald's. And McDonald's actually probably gives me some more choices than other places because I could do a bunless McDouble. And it's probably safest if I was to hold the bun, ketchup, and mustard on that. I don't, honestly. Um, my tongue will feel raw for a little while. Um, and that's usually the extent of my issues with the ketchup and mustard. So obviously that depends on what your reactions are to some of this. Most places, including McDonald's, from what I can tell, they're going to store their burgers frozen and cook them from frozen. So to some degree, unless they are advertising that they make their patties fresh every day, and there are some places around here that do that, 
generally speaking, that's not a huge concern. Same thing with like chicken on a chicken salad. You can often get a, a grilled chicken salad. And the one caveat I would have there, most of those salads are made up for a day or two at a time, even if they're made up in-house. So you're going to have questionably old <laughs> um, lettuce and veggies it's also sometimes a question as to whether or not you can actually have them give you something holding something else. So say I was to order a, a grilled chicken salad, hold the tomato, hold the corn, because for them it is often some sort of a Southwest salad that has that option on it and it would have corn on it. Well, the corn's going to be high lectin, so are the tomatoes. You would want to do your best to hold those items. The ketchup in the McDouble is actually, most of those things um, are going to be done in a, like a number 10 can or something of that sort. So they've actually probably been pressure canned. So not as much of a concern about the tomato and the ketchup. But to have a raw tomato on a salad or on a burger somewhere, that would be more problematic for me. Something else that might be a good idea for some people is if you can get sweet potato fries, they wouldn't have the amount of lectins that would be found in regular fries. You would need to watch what they are salted with as iodized salt is often a liberator. But if you can either carry... Um, pink Himalayan salt or a salt that you tolerate well, you might be able to just order them unsalted. That way you know they would be made fresh and then you can add the salt yourself. And again, notice that with Burger King, they may contain trace amounts of gluten. Their allergen information is right on the page where you can read about the different things on their so menu. So those are some ways that you can use the restaurants in your area to make this work out okay if you do get stuck out and about and need to eat something. If you do know that you're going to be out and about at times when you would typically be eating and probably want to have something to eat with you, some ideas that you could do for that, um, probably my favorite, is to grab a bag of apples. I typically keep a bag of apples in the house because it is something that I can eat as a snack safely and not have any issues with. Another option would be hard boiled eggs if you tolerate eggs okay. Obviously that one's not ideal because they are higher protein and some people do react to the whites but having them hard boiled um, seems to be the the difference between if they're a liberator or not, you want to have the white completely cooked. I'm not really sure I understand why they would be a liberator, if that's possibly because of the feed that the eggs, feed that the chickens were eating before they laid the eggs. I'm not really sure. I know that I don't personally react to eggs badly that I have noticed. I have not done an extended period of time cutting them out either. So, that would be an option. Basically, if you snack on it at home and it's not having to be maintained at a frozen or um, refrigerated temperature for you to not react, those would be a good idea. I, I react to all nuts at this point except for peanuts, so nuts aren't really a good option for me, but I know some people can. Personally, Fruits like apples are great. I wouldn't probably try and carry around grapes, but I don't react to them. Another option is if you know that you'll have access to a microwave, and this is actually what I did when I was working full time, I would actually um, use my like individually sized Crofton like four by six meal prep containers. I will have a meal in them, freeze it in my deep freeze, and then I can just carry it with me. And will it be completely frozen when I go to heat it up? No, 
but at the same time, it's going to contain a lot less histamine than if I was to buy a random refrigerated product out of a, out of a machine or out of a, um, like a gas station deli area or something. Now, if you have access to truck stops, a lot of them do have microwaves and you don't necessarily have to buy food from them to use them, but it is nice if you can like get gas or something, <laughs> um, if you're going to do that. So I hope you have gotten some good ideas from this. Let me know in the comments down below what your go-to snacks are. Also, I didn't really cover drinks. Remember that tea and coffee are typically fermented in the processing before they get to you, so are not always a great idea if you are looking for something to drink on the road. Keep that in mind as well.